Hey there, Sharon Hornell Smear. Welcome to day 286 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Today we're talking about communication growth. We finished the SOAP framework up. I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions about it, you know what to do. Just ask. Today, we're talking about comfort zone and courage and what that has to do with helping us to become a, a better communicator, to grow with respect to our communication skills and abilities. Now, this is a hit the spot idiom that I shared in Supersize Your Business a while ago, but it applies to our view of the comfort zone. And I like to, being legally blind, I still like to visualize things. I'm a visual person. And so I like to think of things in terms of, in my mind's eye, what does this look like? Now, this is a, a model that I use to describe the comfort zone. Our comfort zone, where we feel the most comfortable is in the middle. It, it's where we hit the spot. It's the sweet spot of where we just behave automatically because it matches our identity. We feel comfortable responding and behaving in certain types of situations. Uh, and the circles around that are our past experiences where we've successfully uh, gone through a situation and, and handled it. We feel comfortable that if a similar situation pops up, we'll be able to to handle that as well. We're always pushing on the edges of this comfort zone because the truth is in this sweet spot, in this area that we've had past experiences in, we aren't growing, right? We're just staying the way that we've always been. We're staying the same because we've already had those experiences. We've always already learned those lessons and there's not much growth there. But this blue line represents where we are now and the arrows pushing out against that are us having new experiences, being courageous, taking actions that we might not be 100% confident in, but that we know if we take tiny baby steps every day, we can expand our capability, expand our skills, expand our experience and our confidence. And that applies to every area and aspect of our life, not just communication, but in this case, specifically with respect to communication. And then there's a zone that I, these colors don't, they're just colors are randomly selected, but uh, the next zone is the future. It's our stretch. It's those experiences that come up, those opportunities that we will say yes or no to based on our ability to uh, believe that we can successfully do something or not. So say you have a fear of speaking, right? A fear of public speaking, the most common fear of all humans, except for the fear of death. Uh, so a lot of people are afraid to speak up and to to communicate verbally with other people, especially when it's in an audience type situation. So that might be an example of a future or a stretch comfort zone area for you. But once you do it, guess what? Once you muster up the courage and courage isn't the absence of fear, it's acting in the face of fear and realizing that your fear probably wasn't even real. I mean, so many times we think we're gonna get up, speak in front of a crowd and we're gonna die because we say the wrong thing or we're gonna flop because we trip over our words and come to find out, it just shows people that we're human too. And so they realize, hey, if she can get up and do this and, and say this and speak in front of this group, well, I could sure do better than that was. And then that gives other people permission and confidence to stretch their comfort zone and grow. And this last one I call the NFW zone because it's the things that right now we can't even ever imagine ourselves doing or being comfortable doing yet those are the things that will probably be in the zone of what we actually experience in our lifetime i never thought i would have a sudden cardiac arrest and die but lo and behold i lived through that i learned from that experience and that would be an nfw experience that i wouldn't recommend for anybody else but i realized that if I can get through that, I can get through anything. And communicating is just another one of those goals or things that we want to set for ourselves. Now, when it comes to our comfort zone, we have these, if we were to draw out and map out, and I, I've done this a couple of times because it's a fun exercise, you get these globby circles of, all right, in my personal life and my personal communication, what, how big are these zones for me? And what are some of the things and experiences that have fallen into these zones? Why am I super duper comfortable uh, communicating with the opposite sex? Why am I super duper comfortable communicating with different niches or different groups or different types of people? We tend to feel more comfortable and our comfort zone is broader when we're communicating with people that are like us or that are similar to us or we have things in common with. It's why one of the best communication skills we can uh, 
develop is the ability to relate to other people, to find commonalities with other people, because the commonalities are what help us to communicate and understand one another better. So what's our action item today? I'm going to say for our action item today, let's draw out and in each of the, the zones, write a couple of things. Number one, in our past, we know the things that we've done with respect to communication and communication growth. I will contend that the only time I've ever grown and stretched my comfort zone is when I have done a communication type growth activity that was outside my comfort zone. In our comfort zone, everything just stays the same. And it might be clicking along and we might be successful and fine. But if we wanna grow or expand, we're going to have to be playing at the edges of that comfort zone in order to stretch it, try new things, be open to new experiences, and to do that. So today, our action item, draw yourself one of these with respect to communication. Where are you? What type of things are you super duper comfortable with? What type of things are you really uncomfortable with? Like, hey, I'm never going to get on a stage and talk to over 100 people. Never going to happen. Never going to happen in my lifetime. Maybe that's yours. That's not mine, but maybe that is one of yours that's in the NFW zone. But put a couple of things in each of those zones so that you can just get a visual and say, hmm, where am I willing to push right now? And maybe a year from now, where am I willing to push more to improve my con communication growth? All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Have a great day.